Music's all very happy. They're a happy family. Someone's gonna die. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're watching and reacting to episode three of Supernatural. This one's entitled Dead in the Water. So I can only presume that it involves some sort of water ghost or water spirit or a demon that lives in like a lake or bodies are found in, in the sea. Something to do with water, but I'm not too sure. The last episode was really good. It was quite a fun Monster of the Week style episode. There was bits of the mythology kind of spread through where they were going to find the dad and the, the journal pointed them to that location. Uh, so unless I missed it and I'm mi misinterpreting something, I don't know where they're heading next. I'm intrigued to see how they're planning to find the dad. Because as far as I understood it, the journal pointed them to Blackridge Forest or the woods where the Wendigo was, or Wendigo was it to call it. <laughs> um, but after that, I'm not sure. So I'm intrigued to see if that's talked about. If I have missed something, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, there's been quite a few views on my first Supernatural video for me. Like, in terms of like the grand scheme of YouTube, it's not been a lot. But for my channel, it's doing really well. So I just want to say thank you to anyone that has watched, anyone that's liked or subscribed since watching that video. It really does mean the world to me. I'm just a little introvert that sits at home and does these in his spare time. Because I do work full time still. I'm off now for nine days though. Thank God. Nine days of rest. No work. And hopefully, finally get my hair cut. It's been... I don't have a lot of hair, but it just, for me, it's messy, and it's been about three, four months since I've had a proper haircut, I've had to make a deal with doing it myself, so hopefully, now that lockdown's starting to ease a little bit in the UK, I can get my hair cut for the next couple of days, and stop looking so rough in the videos. Here's hoping. So anyway, let's jump into episode three of Supernatural. Lake Manitok, Wisconsin, so we're in Wisconsin now. Is that far from the last day? I don't know. All these workouts, so I don't know. Guys don't like buff girls. Yeah, well, girls don't like guys who still live. Alright, chauvinist. <laughs> Music's all very happy. They're a happy family. Someone's gonna die. Kinda getting Friday the thirteenth style vibes. Cabin at the end of the cabin at the side of a lake. In the middle of nowhere. just want to say, because it's something no one on here really knows about me, is I have a massive phobia of being underwater. So, shark films and all that are usually quite scary for me. I'm okay at the moment, but... Yeah, when things like pulled underwater, I don't like it. But look at this, this is not too scary. Yet. Can I get you anything else? Just the check, please. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. That she's a lot of fun. <laughs> lake Manitok, Wisconsin. Last week, Sophie Carlton, 18, walks into the lake, doesn't walk out. Authorities drag the water, nothing. Sophie Carlton is the third Lake Manitok drowning this year. Sure, whatever. Emiaka! <gasps> I love Emiaka. Fred. People don't just disappear, Dean. Trail for Dad. It's getting colder every day. Exactly. So what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay. Something. Anything. You know what? So they're just trying just to find a stuff. trail. They don't actually have a I don't think I want to find as much as you location to get to, which I'm makes sense. Been... Oh. She was about a hundred yards out. That's where she got dragged out. And you're sure she didn't just drown? Yeah, but you don't know She's what's the under there. there and I don't mean like. So no splashing. Monsters no and stuff. Or... No, that's what I'm telling you. Debris or shadows, no water. rocks or maybe some dark shade. The Loch Ness monster. You know, I, what about your father? Can we talk to him? I don't think he wants to talk to anyone. Well, if you don't mind, I mean, he didn't see anything and he's kind of been through a lot. Why does the wildlife service care about an accidental drowning? <laughs> you sure it's accidental? Check. Uh, I did. <laughs> There's, not any, there's nothing even big enough to pull down a person, unless it was the Loch Ness Monster. Hey! Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> right. That's what I said. In another six months, there won't be much of a lake. There won't be much of a town, either. Okay. There's federal wildlife. You already knew that. Exactly. Sorry. Yay! I can come back later. Uh, gentlemen, this is my daughter. Pleasure to meet you. 
Andrea I've seen her in about four different shows. She's name? been in Angel, Dollhouse. Was she in Dollhouse? I'm sure she was in Dollhouse. Alias, it's Kelly Payton. But to me, she'll always be she Fred. Okay? She always seems like such a sweet actress. Like, just always plays a lot of cute characters, obviously. Thanks. There's times when she hasn't. I won't spoil anything for anybody, but... In general, she just, she's just a sweetheart. There it must be hard with your sense of direction. Never being able to find your way to a decent pickup line. Oh, 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 oh burn! Christopher Barr was Andrea's husband. Lucas's father. Apparently, he took Lucas out swimming. Lucas was on a floating wooden platform when Chris drowned. Two hours before the kid got rescued. Aww. Poor kid. You know, I'm thinking you can hear me. You just don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened to your dad. But I know it was something real bad. Mm. Is he gonna identify with him? I think I know how you feel. Yeah. Anyway. But you saw yeah, you saw the mom die. Oh Maybe dear. you don't think anyone will, will listen to you. I got actually you don't really think about how believe you. traumatizing that would have been for Dean to see the mum burning alive on the ceiling. Say anything, you just see Dean picture. as this kind of what you saw that day. smooth dad. talking, wise cracking right. demon hunter with like the proper front up. But he's probably like really traumatized okay. from no problem. being in this That's hellish true. world where the That's mom was burned alive when she was young. When he was young. That's my dad. That's my mom. That's my geek brother. <laughs> hey, sweetie. He's drawn something creepy, hasn't he? I will cry at chop you, kid. Thanks, Lucas. Oh, <laughs> it's just the house. That was me ready to drop kit the child until next Tuesday. Um, that's not good. Don't put... I know you would do, in case it's like a blockage, but... Um, still haven't seen what it is yet. Uh, is he dead? Oh, I didn't want him to die. He's nice. Seems like he might know something. I don't know. He's got that look in his eye that like guilt. Have you ever seen anything out there? We think the truth. I also think he's not telling us something. See? But see, my mom. I know she wanted me to be brave. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Lucas. It's obviously oh, a location oh, boy, nearby. So smart. Maybe it's a clue to who's going to die next. What you said about mom. You never told me that before. Looks like it was really traumatic for him. Oh god, we're not gonna have to hug or anything, <laughs> are we? And he's that kind of person that puts up the front. So he's not gonna talk and open up about his pain. But I think he's slowly... I'm only in episode 3, but... It feels like he's slowly building... Uh, breaking down those layers between him and Sam. But does a little boy live here by chance? He might wear a, a blue ball cap. as a red bicycle. No, sir. He died 20 he years ago. A very long time. Thank you. He's been gone 35 years now. Oh, God, God, you like, he disappeared from here. The worst he thing. He was supposed to not knowing. It's got to be his bike straight awful. Home. I didn't believe. Now I think I do. Believe what? I think I finally know what you want. People he loves, they're all getting punished. So what if Bill did something to Peter? What if Bill killed him? Yeah, Peter's spirit mm. would be furious. It won't revenge. Didn't think possible. about that. I hope we get to see it. I want to see the creepy ghost in the lake. Jeez. Strong ass ghost as well. I think the kid has like a sense that something's happening. Lucas, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Lucas, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. I don't often like kids and stuff, but 
He's not annoying. <laughs> he's actually quite. He's cute. He's in pain. That sounded really weird. <laughs> Just so oh, I'm gonna be put on a list. You see. That would burn your foot. How is that bath not overflowing? Look how full it is. And his boat is still going. <laughs> Oh, it looks like she shot herself. The frig just happened. Wow. Well. Come on, Sam. Yeah, go. Oh. oh, God, I thought she didn't die. If that ain't hurt. Look. What's this place? What did it say? It said. It said, "Come play with me." Come play with us, Danny, forever and ever and ever. Bill and the sheriff. What? They were both involved with Peter. Did they both kill him when they were younger? And now this is some sort of revenge on the families. Honey? Who are you? Corrupt sheriff, of course. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You and Bill killed Peter Sweeney 35 years ago. That's what the hell we're talking Dad! about. Dad! And now you got one seriously pissed off spirit. Oh, it's gonna take Andrea. No. Lucas. Listen to yourself. Both of you. You're insane. Like, it's mental. It's crazy to believe that kind of stuff, but after so many people have just disappeared in the same place, salt them and burn them would you not just go along with it? Just what Peter have you got to lose? Tell me you didn't, tell me you, you didn't kill anyone. That look says everything. Why did they do it to him? He's only a kid. Peter was the smallest one. We always bullied him. But this time... I hate bullies. It, it riles me up to no end. We were holding his head under the water. We didn't mean to. But we held him under too long, and he drowned. So it wasn't even, like, sank. accidental in the terms of... He fell in, and they couldn't rescue him. It was too late. It was... We oh, held him under. Until he died. We were kids. You awful we were so scared. F it was piece of shit. Andrew, to say that I have anything to do with these drownings with Shoot Chris. him. Fucking get rid of him. Some... <laughs> Ooh. Lucas! You didn't believe it a minute ago. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. No, I don't like that. Yeah, go sacrifice yourself and fucking move on. Please, I'm sorry. Yeah, take him. I'm so sorry. I'm so pissed. Ow, what was that? Bye bye. Peace out. Oh, I got for that. Kid didn't deserve any of this. None of them did. The only people that deserved to die was her dad and the other guy mm -hmm. whose name I can't remember. Um, they deserved everything that fucking came to them, but no one else deserved to die. That was not fair. We made you lunch for the road. <laughs> Lucas insisted on making the sandwiches himself. Can I him oh, he's talking again. You saved my son. I can't ask for more than that. I'm glad she survived as well. You're gonna be talking now. This is a very important phrase, so I want you to repeat it back to me one more time. Except the rules. That's right. <laughs> that was a really good episode. That was quite creepy in parts. I feel like it didn't help that I have quite a big phobia of underwater. Sorry, there was a car that went past outside. Um quite a big phobia of underwater stuff so whilst the episode with the water bits weren't too scary for me things I find more scary were like kind of like jaws with a lot of underwater like swimming sections and things jumping out underwater Blech. um but the actual little glimpses we saw of the ghost were a little spooky and it's motive I fully get it was very Friday the 13th and it was a little boy that drowned when they shouldn't have drowned and it's about getting revenge for their death 
and anyone that's watched it, a lot of the channel knows that Friday the 13th is my favourite movie. I didn't wear this intentionally. <laughs> I genuinely didn't. Um, but I'm sorry if I got a bit pissed towards the end because bullying in any TV show, any movies, it just bothers me. Maybe it comes from a place of I was bullied in school and I hate seeing people get bullied. I just don't get the point of it. I don't see the need for it. I think it's awful and it should be tried and more effort should go to wiping it out in all schools and all places. So when they were talking about the fact that they bullied this kid a lot, and it wasn't just like they played a prank on him and he died, or he fell in the water and they didn't get to him in time. Like I said before, they literally held his head under the water until he drowned. And so, okay, as soon as you told me that, you deserve to die. And it's your fault that your kids and your family are getting killed off. Because you killed someone, and you didn't just kill someone, you killed an innocent child and covered it up. If you'd have took responsibility for your actions, which you weren't going to do because you were a stupid, pathetic little bully, this would never have happened, your family would have been safe and alive. Maybe you wouldn't have had the family that you have, I suppose, because you may have served some time in jail, no, whatever. I'm not going to get into all that, but I just got really angry because I don't like that kind of stuff, but I guess that makes effective storytelling, because I understood the ghost's motives, and I was rooting for the ghost to kill the dad that's why when the dad was in the war at the end i was just like see ya so yeah i apologize if i got a little bit heat a little bit angry i just don't like that kind of behavior but i'm sure it's going to pop up in everything that i watch every now and again i now just have to learn to breathe and be calm <laughs> um in terms of the actual format of the show i'm actually interested to see kind of how it progresses so now we know that they haven't got a destination to get to for the dad they're just following tra a trail which is very vague, but I guess that allows them to just go from state to state to state, to various different cities, and just experience all these different supernatural events as they go. So it's like a big road trip, which is interesting. And we get to see different parts of America. And it kind of gives me like a little bit of an X-Files vibe, because a lot of that happens in all different states, and you get to see bits in the forest, bits in industrial bits, bits in more residential. And it's quite interesting to see that, because being from the UK... I don't really know much of America. I've been to Florida. And that's it. Um, so I like seeing all the different states and the different regions and sort of environments that you see as you go around. So this was more of like a foresty campsite lake area, which was cool. And it's interesting to know that each episode, at least for, for now, is going to be jumping around to different areas. So we're going to hit a lot of different themes, a lot of different monsters, a lot of different characters. So that's interesting. I am excited to see when they do progress the main story. I talk with my hands like a bloody teacher. <laughs> I like that guy from, we played Monkey Island, the salesman who's like, oh, he talks. Shoo, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing, even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see what happens and when the next bit of mythology comes into play, when we hear something from the dad. I was intrigued, but I'm going to, I'm thinking it's a few episodes away, but that's fine by me. Because I really enjoy Monster of the Week episodes. Some of my favourite episodes of every TV show I watch is Monster of the Week. So anyway, that was episode 3 of Supernatural, Dead in the Water. Really enjoyed it. Quite a spooky story. And yeah, it was good. <laughs> uh, let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. And what you thought of the reaction. Anything you think I can do to improve. Uh, my name's Scott. I hope you're well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.